Thank you, Martin, for the faithful races that entry. This is race five, the Krabbies, Hunter's Chase, Augustine Nina, Hollywood, Eternal Blade, Patrick Ogan, Ultimate Majestic, Mark Cooper, Persian Genius, Martin Leiden, Gold TR, Pontypool Racing, Impenita Plod, Alex Cherry, and Orange Cassidy, Mark Cooper. Update on the Enters Trainers Table Derek into 9, James Shea got 5, and in between on Alex Cherry on 4. And all of that, they all jumped it safely. Turn towards the next end and Gold Tiara, more known as a Hurdler, leads by a half length from Eternal Blade in second, jumping this fence, and they've all jumped it safely. The seven runners heading towards, the, I believe, what is the chair and the Gold Tiara on the inside, on the outside, Old Tom Majestic. Mark Cooper's runner, then comes in between the plod, and then Eternal Blade come to the, the big water, and nobody ever falls. Big fans like that, and nobody ever falls to it. I think Mark needs to do something about that one. They go towards the water. Uh, if you do jockey mode, you find that's a very hard fence to jump in jockey mode. Gold Tiara leads by half a length from Ote Majestic in second. In between a plod in third. Then comes Ackleston Nina, Orange Cassidy, Persian Genius, and Eternal Blade. Uh, Edmund was what is the first in the Grand National. We'll should be around tomorrow for you. And Martin will have his com- commentary tones on the race for you, his vocal tones. And Gold Tower on the inside of a TM Majestic. They're coming towards this. Uh, jump in that one. I already we know the result of the Grand National because I ran the race. Uh, go towards the next. And uh, Ulti Majestic leads by a neck from Gold Tiara in second. Back in third is Impetina Plod, then comes Orange Cassidy, Eternal Blade, Anglestein Nina, and Persian Genius. And they all jumped out. And I can assure you that the Grand National is a very good race. And it was a close finish as well, so you'll enjoy it. Let me assure you, so if we haven't got a runner. You have to watch it. Or tear ma- majestic on the other side, gold tiara. And I'm an independent one of this because I didn't even have one in the race. So there you go, gold tiara. And or tear ma- majestic on the outside. They jump in the beaches for the one and only time in this race. They jump it twice tomorrow in the Grand National. Well, Tim Majestic leads by two head to Fine Haven. They go into the smallest fence on the course and they jump it. And now to the canal turn. Oh, Tim Majestic. Three lens clear, Gold Tiara in second. Impetina Plod in third, then Horns Cassidy, Eternal Blade, Persian Genius, and Agglestone Nina the back mark. They jump in the canal turn and they all jumped it and not one horse has fallen. I'll take Majestic leads by four to five from Gold Tiara in second. In putting the plot in third, they jump in that one. And then comes Internal Blade, Persian Genius. Oh, Steen Nina still being held up towards the rear. They jump in this one. This is uh, now seven and a half left to run. And Hold Team Majestic leads by left and a half. Gold Tiara in second. Back in for Orange Cassidy. So Mark Cooper one and three over the big ditch. Then in between a plot for. Alex Cherry has gone into third. Martin Leiden's Persian Genius taking the big those rules on the outside. Then on the inside, the Irish Invader who turned the blade. We lost one there, and there, Orange Cassidy has gone. So Mark Cooper down to one runner now. And Eagles from Nina is struggling in this race. They cross the Melon Road. And they're heading back towards the street, where they have two more left to jump when they get there. And then the long running, no team majestic leads by left and half, and Gold Tiara in second, in third, in between the plod. Then Eternal Blade and Persian Genius. They're swinging in, uh, Tear Ma- Majestic leads by two now, impeding the plods gone through into second. On the inside, making gone to turn the blade, then Goldtia dropping back. They're jumping that and pure genius, and the uh, Agnesty Nina's not in the picture. They go towards the final fence, and now uh, Tear Majestic, he's about four to five lengths clear. Heading towards his last fence. 
he jumped it well they all did and behind him is running on he's running for the line and out here Majestic is here comes Eternal Blade making some good ground now into second then comes in between the pop field just go to our hell back in fifth they on the on the elbow up towards the out here Majestic made also far but here comes Pure Jeans and Martin Leiden and Martin Leiden Pure Jeans has taken up on the running for the line and he's gonna go on and win by about a length and a half for Martin Leiden Pure Genius has won the Hunters chase. He's not had a big season on the Hunters this, so I think maybe that's his fourth winner. Ex champion of the Hunters, Persian Genius. I believe Martin Leed or Tia Majestic made a good run from Matt Cooper in second. Third in between the plot for Alex Cherry. Fourth return to play for Patrick Hogan. Cold DR fair for the distance back to Eggleston Nina.